And hello YouTube, this is GS Man, I'm Smart, and I'm here with another brand new video for tutorials with GS. Today's tutorial, we're taking a look at Adobe Audition. I think this is the first time I'm ever using uh, this program on the channel. The first time I'm making a tutorial about this. So maybe I'll be making a general guide on how to use this program. But for those of you who have followed my Audacity tutorials, this is actually a much more advanced audio editing program. And it's actually a lot better. So let's go ahead and get started. I know that we, we haven't uploaded uh, for quite some time on the channel. I've just been really busy with school, but now all the finals are gone, so uh, we're back at it. Now, what you'll see is I have a file here, right? And we take a listen to this file, you'll see it's very noisy. And this tutorial is going to be showing you how to remove noise, how to reduce the noise, how to remove it completely even. And this, this works very well for a lot of staticky microphones if you're using an internal microphone from your computer, say, or say you're picking up some weird background noise, or there's, there's people talking in the background even, there's a way to remove that completely. Now let's go ahead and take a listen to this preview right here. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. So that is what we have right now. This is from my internal computer microphone, which is a really crappy one. Obviously I'm using my Blue Yeti for the video. Um, so you can see it's it's pretty bad. Now what you can do is right here in this multi-track session editor, you can go ahead and just click this track. You'll see which track you're clicked, whichever one's highlighted. So just go ahead and click a track that you want to apply an effect to. And then you're in the effects rack here. Here's your effect rack on the left side. If you don't see your effect rack, you want to go up to Windows and click effect rack here. If it's not checkmarked, then you click it and checkmark it. And you'll see it pop up here. And what you want to do then is click the little down arrow here to find an effect, go to noise reduction, and then go to the first option here. Adaptive noise reduction, you can go and press OK on that. And here you're given some presets. Now you can use light noise reduction or heavy noise reduction. Now depending on if your, whatever your preference is or if your noise is really loud or really low, uh, you want to pick one of these. Uh, be aware, don't pick heavy noise reduction for everything because Sometimes there's not a lot of noise in the background and if you pick heavy, it's actually going to start taking away from your actual voice also. And we don't want to reduce the quality of your voice. We only want to take away as much as needed, not too much because your voice will sound kind of robotic then. So we have a lot of noise here, so I'm going to go ahead and pick heavy noise reduction. And uh, just go ahead and we can then close that. Now you see this is red right here. This is because Audition needs to render. So what you can do is down here, you can click this little button right here. That will turn it blue, and that will turn this blue as well. The reason why I want to do this is because uh, you want to hear how it sounds exactly after the effect has been rendered to your audio. Audio re renders pretty quickly, so that's why it's okay to do this compared to video, which takes a lot longer. So if we take a listen to it now. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. So that's how it sounds a lot better now, but um, it, it's still, for certain occasions, this may work for you. Just doing this may work for you and you'll basically be done. But if you still don't like how it sounds, you can notice that right around here, right around this area right here, it sort of fades out and then fades back in near the end. If you don't want to have that, or if you're still not satisfied with the result, then we can actually go ahead and delete this uh, effect right here. We can go right into our wave editor, which is right here. Uh, you'll notice that this is the same track right here. All I've really done is just drag this track on here. So essentially, uh, double clicking this track also works, but here's basically your panel of all your source files. So we double click our track here, and we don't want to go in there. Uh, you'll see that we can basically edit the wave here. And once again, here's our noise. Right? Pretty terrible. So what we're going to do is go up to effects and then hit noise reduction and click Capture Noise Print. Now, if you work with Audacity, this works very similar. The only difference is Audacity tends to not allow you to have too much control over it. They only really give you two or three sliders to play with. Audition really goes in depth here and does a really a good job at reducing noise. I think it's 10 times better than Audacity's, but obviously Audacity's free, so that's why. So once you have clicked Capture Noise Print, we're gonna go Effects again noise reduction again, and you guessed it, noise reduction process. And the uh, the source will be from the noise print, obviously. So make sure you do source print first, uh, capture print, whatever it was called, I forget now. Uh, make sure you do that first before you actually click process. Now here you'll see a graph, and all this graph is telling you, it's showing you 
uh, the frequencies that the noise is in and the frequencies that you that the voice is in your voice and the noise you've selected now if your if your voice and your noise are relatively within the same frequencies you may want to be careful with these sliders here because you'll start taking away from your actual voice um, but seeing that our voice really isn't well it's kind of in the same frequencies but not that much we can sort of exaggerate this a bit more but essentially a general rule of thumb is to go between 90 and 100 percent here for this first slider for noise reduction anywhere between 90 and 100 is usually good you can try at 100 first um, but if you see that your voice sounds kind of robotic you may want to slide it down a bit and most importantly it's the reduced by slider don't go ahead and move this all the way up if you move this all the way up but sometimes it'll sound really bad and your voice starts to be very echoey uh higher here is not better because what this does it decreases the dbs of that noise and it also decreases your vocal quality as well so generally what i like to do is tend to put it around here first and if I see that I can improve it, obviously you want to get as closely to, this, to, to, the, to the back here as possible to reduce as much noise as possible, but we don't want to reduce the quality of our vocals. So what you can do is just put it right here and you can press play at the bottom here. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. And you can slowly move the slider just as Testing, you, as you one, listen two, to three. it. Testing, one, two, three. Now you see we're starting to get this robotic Testing, one, two, three. type. Testing, if I move it all the way one, to the top, two, three. take a listen and move it all the way to the top. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Vocal quality is a bit lower than if I put it at like Testing, one, 37, two, say. Testing, one, two, three. But essentially, uh, just having this loop constantly and constantly play, uh, you can tell the difference of moving some of these sliders around, and it's a really nice preview that you can do. After you're done, you can press apply, and you'll see that, amazingly, all the noise is gone here. We take a listen to this. There's literally no noise. It's completely silent. And we take a listen to our audio. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Sounds great. So that's how you remove noise in Adobe Audition. Hopefully enjoy the tutorial. If you have any other questions or comments, any concerns, if you're confused about something, you go and leave a comment in the description below. If you don't have Adobe Audition, you can get, I believe they have a free trial on the Adobe website. So if you like it, you can always try it out. There's obviously also other ways of getting it. But um, if you want to buy it, you can go and buy it. It's a great program. Uh, I constantly use it for all of my audio editing. And it's much better than Audacity. But once again, I do have Audacity tutorials. So if you want to check those out, you may look at those as well. And we essentially teach you around the same things. Because you can also do this very method in Audacity. So thank you for watching. As always, plenty of other tutorials on the channel about different softwares if you're interested in that go and check it out and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching i hope that this video helped you out in any way if you enjoyed this video please leave a like it'll really help me out if you didn't like it you can leave a comment below as well and give some feedback if you have any other comments or questions please leave them in the comments as well and i usually try my best to answer those comments within the next 24 to 48 hours depending on how busy i am i also have plenty of other content on my channel about different gaming tutorials as well as general gaming videos for guild wars 2 league of legends minecraft and any others that you may be interested in. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe too. would really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social medias that show on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much, everyone. And this is GSMAO Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.